BTB TV is where Cyclocross lives. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the show. What's good? What's good this week is tires. We are talking about cyclocross tires. There are a million different kinds of cyclocross tires out there, so we have a lot to get to. Now, first of all, we're talking about these clinchers. I know that everybody these days is riding tubular tires, um, but realistically, most of you are still riding clinchers. They are simpler. They fit with most of the wheels you already have. They're more economical. They cost way less. Um, so first, what is a clincher tire and what is not? This right here, a Dugast. This is the Lamborghini of cyclocross tires. This is a $150, $160 tubular cotton sew-up handmade tire. This is what all your top riders in the world are riding. They're very supple, uh, they're incredibly fast, and they're incredibly a pain in the butt to work with. You have to glue these onto a specific uh, set of tubular rims. Uh, they're very hard to glue on, they're very hard to take off. Like we said, they are no doubt the performance choice, but they're just not realistic for a lot of people out there. I still suggest you get them, but moving on. We are talking about clinchers today. A clincher tire. If you don't know, I don't know why you're watching this show, but this is a clincher. It is an open tire. There's two beads on either side. A million different kinds of treads, a million different kinds of rubber compounds, and they are either run with a tube or a tubeless system. So, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different clinchers today. I learned a ton just uh, from what I already knew going through this. I hope you guys get to learn something too. So, for starters, we're going to be breaking the tires down into three main categories. We have your mud tires for your rough, aggressive, and muddy conditions. We have your all-around mixed-purpose tires that you'll ride on most cyclocross courses. And first up, file treads. These are for the fast days, the hard pack days, the dry, dusty races that come down to one thing more importantly than the others, and that is speed. Let's get right to this. We looked at a bunch of different file treads today from a bunch of different manufacturers. Uh, the Vittoria XNs were very good, um, but in the all-around general file tread department, if I had to have one, which I wouldn't just have one, but I would have this. This is the Clement LAS, named after the Las Vegas airport code. This tire designed around Cross Vegas, the ultimate North American fast race, dry grass, desert-like conditions, very hard packed and very fast. This tire, not the most supple tire on the table here at 120 TPI, which is a good point here to talk about threads per inch. You hear it thrown around a lot. TPI, what does it mean? That is the suppleness of your tire, as in the softness. When you think about a cross bike, it is very rigid. Your only suspension is coming from right here, your tires on the bike. How much do they conform around the obstacles underneath you and how smooth do they make the ride? How well do they hook up in the corner? So at this guy, 120 TPI compared to 150 TPI for the Vittorias. Uh, the challenges are at 300 TPI, but these still, they felt very, very nice. A high diamond tread pattern, some nice square knobs on the side there to give you just enough bite in the corners, but not too much, which can be a problem with file treads. But across the board, a file tread on the whole is a file tread. There's not a huge amount of difference there. Except for this one. This is the Michelin Cyclocross Jet, and this tire is absolutely insane. I would not run this tire, not even 2%, not even 1% of the races I do, not even of the races that I want a file tread. It is incredibly narrow, only 30 uh, as a width here compared to 33 on almost all of the other file treads we looked at. It's also got this super gummy, like sticky rubber. The TPI is good. It's incredibly fast. On pavement, this thing is blast off. In very, very dry corners with tacky grass, it is very, very fast. On that one course where you want this tire, it is going to be a huge advantage. It's worth having a set 
in the closet. I wouldn't, like I said, wouldn't run it every day, but this tire impressed that one time. Now, those are your file treads. They're different shapes, they're different dimensions, but they are still very similar, except for one file tread that just blew the doors off the category itself. I'm talking about this, the Challenge Chicane. This tire, like I said, it blew the doors off the category itself. It is not a file tread. It is not a mixed conditions tire. It is an entirely new tire. Now, first of all, let's talk about the Challenge tires in general. We talked about how we were doing clinchers today, and this tire is indeed a clincher, but it is different than the rest. Challenge makes what they call an open tubular. So we talked about what a tubular tire was, a handmade, a sew-up tire. This is not a sew-up. It is open. You still run it with a tube, but as you can see, it has the tread glued on to the casing. They're able to make them incredibly supple, 300 TPI or 300 threads per inch, almost double uh, anything else here on the tire. So looking here at the chicane. This tire was designed last year in conjunction with uh, former British national champion, Helen Wyman, the Kona rider, and it is Honestly, it is a new category. When you think about a file tread tire, you think about all the courses that have so many hard pack, dry, fast sections. Maybe they have a lot of pavement and you want to run that file tread. You see the LAS over here. This is the tire for Cross Vegas. There's absolutely nothing to get in your way. But when you think about a real cyclocross course, there's those couple of corners that get a little bit slimy. There's those couple of off camber sections there where you just need that extra bite and where you might want that file tread for 90% of the day, that 10% of the course that you don't want that tire, that's gonna be the difference maker. That's where you're gonna crash, that's where you're gonna get dropped. This tire changes that game entirely. You can see here it is a file tread or a diamond pattern as they call it here, down the center, but on the outsides, they borrow these wide, enormous knobs off of their mud tire here, the Limus, and it makes for really a best of both worlds tire for a lot of conditions. It's sort of a square top. It's a little crazy to get used to. You've never ridden anything like this, I guarantee it. But when you get on this, like I said, it opens the doors to an entirely new style of riding. Maybe the most exciting tire I tested amongst the lot. Hi, I'm Meredith Miller. You're watching BTB TV, and welcome back. Now, we move on to your general all-purpose tires. Like the name suggests these are your all-purpose, all-condition tires that you're going to use 90% of the time during a cyclocross race. Uh, they are mixed knobs, they're meant for high speed, hard packed, loose, maybe a little bit of mud, a little bit of sliminess. <laughs> One tire I really enjoyed was the Vittoria XG. If you can take a look at that tread pattern on there, that is it when it comes to a mixed condition tire. That's your bread and butter, that's your money maker, that's your everyday pattern. If you look at the high end from the Dugas tubulars all the way down to the Vittoria, uh, the Clement, I think it's the MXP, all very similar patterns there. And they get the job done. Honestly, they're a good tire, they're supple, 150 TPI but I think I found something better. And that is your specialized Tracer Pro Tubeless. This tire, if you take a look at the tread pattern here, is nothing like any of the other mixed condition tires on the market. Now we're talking about clinchers and we're talking about how to get the most out of your clincher. We're talking about the suppleness, the TPI, but we're also talking about tubes versus tubeless. Now, when you're running a clincher tire, you basically have two and a half to three options. Uh, of course, you have these right here. These are your standard rubber tubes. You were putting these in your bikes 20 years ago. Some of you are still putting these in your bikes, and if you are, shame on you. These are no good for cyclocross. Then we have something in between here. This is your Challenge Make Some. This is a seamless latex tube. This is an incredibly soft riding, supple tube. Uh, this is essentially what is inside of a very high-end tubular sew-up tire. So with a Challenge tire where you cannot run them tubeless, this is a great option with a lot of baby powder. 
But the real way to run a clincher tire for cyclocross, to really take advantage uh, not only of the weight savings, but of that soft riding tire, is not to put a super stiff tube in there. It is to put this stuff. You guys all know about it. Stands tubeless sealant. Not only does it prevent flats, which is uh, it's not the most important thing in cyclocross. Uh, it's not mountain biking. You're not going over sharp rocks and roots quite as much, but it holds the tire on there and it allows you to run a tubeless system. So no tube, you're getting more suppleness, you're getting softer tires, better rolling resistance. And Specialized, I found, has done maybe more than anyone to really optimize their tires for tubeless use. But the big concern when you're running tubeless is rolling that tire, burping the tire and letting air out if it's not a tight enough seal. This tire seals very well. You can see here it has five rows of ramped, very soft rubber knob. This pattern uh, with these individual square knobs here, it really holds up well. And unlike some of these other tires that for the all purpose, uh, it's still incredibly lightweight. It's still incredibly fast, maybe a little bit slower uh, than your traditional pattern on some of the straightaways and some of the pavement, but I find you're able to make it up fractions of a second at a time by being a little more aggressive in the corners. So I know what you're asking, Colt, does this mean if you could have just one tire to race for cyclocross, you would have this tire? No. Not only would I not just have this tire, but I've told you already, I would not just have one set of tires. You can't race cyclocross on one set of tires, so stop asking that question. But if you need an answer, and the answer is not exactly what you're asking, but if I had to have one set of tires, and I suppose the only reason I would do that would be because I could only afford one set of tires. And that's where I go to the Kenda lineup. This is their happy medium. And the reason I would have these tires is because they are incredibly cheap, not in quality, but in price point. Kenda does maybe more than anybody out there uh, to really be conscious of the price point that they're offering the tires at. It's a great product. They are not in by any means the best clincher option on the table here. A lot of these other tires are really specifically done and do things just a little bit better, but that's what you're paying for when you're getting uh, an 80 to $100 tire versus a 30 or a $40 tire. But this tire, incredibly cost effective. Um, this is their happy medium. It's got elements of the chicane in that it is sort of a file tread diamond pattern here, um, but almost like you know a truck to a monster truck. This has enormous raised diamond pattern treads here, some really aggressive side knobs. You could ride this in about 80% of the conditions out there, and it is super cheap. I'm Jeremy Powers, and welcome back to BTB TV. Moving on to our third and final category, and if we're being honest, the best category. Let's think about it for a second. When we sit around in June and July and we think about cyclocross, we don't think about file treads. We don't think about happy medium and mixed condition tires. We think about cold, wet, sloppy, greasy, peanut buttery mud, and we think about mud tires. Now, mud tires vary as much as mud itself varies. We have so many different kinds. We have that slimy, greasy mud that doesn't really accumulate, but it's just like ice skating across the course. Uh, we have your very wet, puddly mud where it's standing water on the course, but fairly hard packed underneath. And then we have your mud mud. You're deep, you're thick, your peanut buttery mud that makes for the exciting races. Now the first mud tire that I went to in this project in testing tires was this, the Clement PDX. PDX, the airport code for Portland, Oregon. This is the mud tire of choice for most people I talk to. It's very supple, 120 TPI. The beads on these, on all the Clement tires, um, I found they were super easy to seed up tubeless. I was expecting the most from this. I was expecting to come away saying that this was the best mud tire I rode, but it wasn't. This is the Vittoria Cross XL Pro. If you take a look at this thing, it's like no other mud tire on the market. I don't know if I can even officially say this or if it's public or not, but this tire was designed very closely uh, with your 2012 national champion Jeremy Powers uh, and his mechanic, one of the top mechanics in the sport, Tom Hopper, and it just does everything right, especially in that bad peanut buttery soupy kind of mud. 
If you watched our pedal show when we tried to clog that egg beater full of mud and we just couldn't, that is this tire. You can just pack it on here and it does not pick up a single thing. You can see there's tons of open space here. Surprisingly fast as well for a mud tire. This, um, these ramped center knobs down the middle here making a very low rolling resistance. Uh, and then you have these monster dump truck knobs on the side that just bite into everything. If I had to have one set of mud tires, which again, I would not have just one, but these things are just bad. They are bad to the bone. Now, we talked about it with the file treads, those Michelin tires that I would use maybe 0.05% of the time, but they were so good. They do the same thing with their mud tire. This is the Michelin mud. In fact, this is the Michelin mud too. These guys perfected the mud tire for cyclocross before anybody else did, and honestly, they haven't done much to ruin that since. Would I ride this in every muddy race? No, not even close. It's a super narrow tire, again, just like that file tread. Uh, it measures out, they call it a 30 millimeter, it measures out just a little skinnier than that. Uh, it does not pack mud, which you would like, but it also has very small knobs. But I'll tell you when I would run this tire. When you're looking at standing water, on the course. Uh, flashback to Cincinnati this year, Saturday night, the C1. We had those deep puddles. This thing is going to cut right through that sort of greasy metallic mud right down to the hard packed. It's got just enough bite on it to push you forward and this thing is going to shed mud very, very well. Again, just like the Michelin Jet, this is a tire. Keep a pair in your closet. Keep them ready because once a year, once every other year, you're going to want this tire and it is going to be a huge advantage. Hi, I'm Oprah Roy, and welcome back to BTB TV. But what about when it's not muddy? What about when the temperature drops below 31 degrees and that water turns to ice? It turns to snow. If you look at uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we were out in Bend, Oregon for the UCI C1 event there, and it was snow on the ground. It was deep snow, it was icy. What tires do you ride? Uh, a lot of guys were on mud tires because they needed the extra bite. They didn't know what to do. No one makes anything that they call a snow tire, but I have done that. I have created the ultimate snow tire combination for the snow races. And with that, we go back to the challenge tires. This guy right here is the Challenge Limus. This is a 33 millimeter tire. It is 300 TPI, incredibly soft, incredibly supple. I can't stress that enough. When you're talking about snow, you're talking about a very soft surface. You can run these tires in those conditions with the latex tubes, which resist pinch flats better than rubber. I was running them today low around 14 to 15 PSI comfortably, not even bottoming out. More important than the tire itself, or just as important, I will say, is the rim that you're running along with it. We'll talk about these uh, in another show when we do our wheel show, but these are the American Classic Wide Lightning wheels, and these are, I believe, a 32 millimeter wide rim. So if that number doesn't mean anything to you, uh, you think about a usual road rim uh, that you would use for cyclocross. A lot of times it's in the high teens, 20, 21, so 20, 21, 32. It's giant. If you measure this tire out, they call it a 33. On this rim, it measures out closer to a 38. So UCI racers, where they uh, regulate the size of the tire, forget about it. You're out. This one doesn't count. It is an illegal setup. But for everybody else, this is it. I mean, you think about the new craze of fat biking in mountain biking. It's these mountain bikes with huge monster tires because someone figured out that you can just ride through the snow with these giant tires. That is what this is. It creates a fat bike cyclocross bike and it is downright awesome. You can rip this thing in the snow. I mean, forget about a race conditions. This is the buyer that I just want to go out and have fun in the winter and rip around in the snow. Highly recommend it. Highly suggest you guys get yourself a set of wide wheels, some light, supple tires, and you guys go hit the powder.
And with that, we come to a close on the tire show. The show is what's good. So what's good? What is the best? What tire would I choose? This isn't the pedal show. We can't pick a single manufacturer or a single tire the same way that you'd pick a single pedal. These things change. If we're talking about tires, we are truthfully talking about the most important piece of cycling equipment that you bring to a cyclocross race. Your seat is great, your handlebars are very important, but nothing changes as much as the terrain, as the course, and therefore nothing you need more of than tires. So people out there, well, they'll tell you they found the best tire, but those people are liars. Or those people just haven't tested enough tires. Because if you're being honest, there are so many different courses, so many different riding styles that there are infinite choices. If I, had, if I have to quantify something, I guess I would go with these five that I talked about. I still wouldn't be happy about it, but I could do it. I would go with the LAS, my favorite file tread. This thing is ripping fast on a lot of dry conditions. You can run it front and rear or just in the rear sometimes with a knobbier tread on the front. In the mud, when it is nasty, this new Vittoria tire is insane. I would go for that guy. Now, this guy, if I had to put a gold star on something, the most exciting tire uh, that I rode, it is this guy, the Challenge Chicane. Like I said, it just, it redefines tires. It creates uh, an entirely new category. As an all around, consider a tire like this, the Specialized. It's not your traditional mixed range uh, tread pattern on there, but it's very good. And like I said, it works very well tubeless. And then of course, this guy here, the Limus. I mean, the Challenge in general, like we said, uh, just on another level. Uh, with their suppleness, that open tubular format, but this thing very good in the mud. And of course, like we said, if we blow it out like that on a wide rim, this thing is incredible to ride in the snow. One last thing we didn't talk about is weight. We talk about it all the time with mountain bike tires. We talk about it all the time uh, with other pieces of equipment in the sport, but don't worry about it. When you look at cyclocross tires, don't worry about the weight. They are all so close in weight uh, amongst the different categories but there are huge other differences to look at. Look for those three letters, TPI, the higher the better. Look for a tread pattern that is gonna do what you want it to do. If your style of riding requires a little more bite, a little more knob, then go ahead, run the mixed conditions tire when other people are running a file tread. If it's gonna make you go around the course faster, then it is better for you. The same thing goes for a mud tire. This is the PDX. You'll see tons of people riding uh, these tires on just rough courses that don't have any mud and they are still the fastest tire for the job. That's a lot of tires. This is a lot of show, but it's fun stuff, you guys. This is cyclocross season. This is what's good. I'm Colt McElwain. I'll see you next time.